Hi, we have problem 20 of the AMC 12A. Isosceles triangles T and T prime are not congruent, but they have the same area and the same perimeter, and the sides of T are lengths 558, T prime are lengths AAB. Which of the following is closest to the value of B? So let's look at the first triangle. It looks like we have a 558 uh, isosceles triangle. And if we draw the altitude, it looks like we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle in there. And from that, we can quickly calculate the area as being 12 and the perimeter 558, 5, 18. Now in the second triangle, also isosceles, we have the same perimeter and the same area. So uh, let's work the perimeter for a minute. It looks like a plus A plus B is equal to 18, and that allows us to uh, work out what A is in terms of B, and that might be helpful. So 2A plus B is equal to 18, and from that we see that uh, A is equal to 18 minus B divided by 2, 9 minus B over 2. So that looks pretty handy. And the 9 here is pretty suggestive. 9 is 1 half 18, and that's the semi-perimeter. And that suggests that we might be able to use Heron's formula in some convenient way. So let's try that. Let's calculate the area using Heron's formula as the semi-perimeter, 9, times the semi-perimeter minus A, that's B over 2, times the semi-perimeter minus A, B over 2 again, times the semi-perimeter minus b, 9 minus b. And we know that that area is the same as the first triangle, it's 12. So that looks pretty convenient now. So let's square both sides. 9 uh, times b squared over 4, 9 minus b is equal to uh, 3 squared times 4 squared. Uh, the 3's cancel, bring the 4 to the other side. That gives us uh, b squared, 9 minus b, is equal to 64. So this is a cubic equation. We don't quite know how to solve this exactly, but it doesn't look like we have to. So let's uh, try a few values for b to get a feel for how this uh, cubic equation behaves. So let's look at uh, b versus uh, b squared 9 minus b, just to get a handle for how this term behaves. So let's plug in the value of 1. 1 times 9 minus 1 is 8. 2. 2 squared times 7 is 28. 3. 3 squared is 9 times 6 is 54. And 4 is 4 squared is 16 times 5 is 80. So here it crosses the threshold of 64, somewhere between 3 and 4. And so that tells us our solution lies somewhere in between here. And we already know then that the answer is either A or B but we don't know whether it's closer to A or closer to B. So one way to decide that is uh, try another value, another intermediate value of, say, 3.5. That's uh, 7 over 2, and see what value we get there. So 7 over 2 squared is 49 over 4 times uh, 9 minus 7 over 2 is uh, 11 over 2, and that is equal to... 11 times 49 is 539 over 8. And let's do this division real quick. 8 into 539 is uh, 6, 48. 48 is that, is 559. And that's a 7 with some change. Okay, so with 3.5, we get 67 and change. And that already crosses the threshold of 64. So this, we know that our solution lies somewhere between 3 and 3.5 is somewhere where the solution lies. And that tells us uh, our answer for the most part. We know that it's closer to 3 than it is to 4, and that gives us choice A. Anyway, slightly complicated, but uh, the key was trying to identify that we have a semi-perimeter that's pretty convenient, and that allows us to use Heron's formula. So give that a try, and uh, hope that was clear. Take care.